Hello and welcome everyone. I've just had another go at the uh, Blitz in the East scenario from the Blitz in the East game. And in this scenario you're supposed to capture as the Germans in the first turn and also hold them after the Russian part of the turn, but I didn't actually play the Russian part of the turn um, because, you know, if you don't actually capture at least two of them, there's no point in it because you'll lose anyway. And what I've been trying to do in several ways is to capture all three of those cities. They're all marked by one, so that's Lviv or Lviv over here, uh, Minsk over here, and Riga over here. Well, I've actually captured Riga in Lviv. What went wrong is, um, well, I rolled very poorly and both sides suffered a hit, uh, which meant that I couldn't advance and, and this unit wasn't even destroyed, so, so um, Lviv or Lviv is still in uh, Russian hands. And, um, well, Minsk, what happened here is I also tried to eliminate a unit somewhere and um, I had to advance one unit and I could have, you know, um, forced a hit on this one, but then this one would have had to advance and the blitzing unit was here, so at the start of the blitz phase it wouldn't have been adjacent and wouldn't have been able to move anyway. Had this not happened, had that uh, combat actually gone better, I would have been able to advance into Minsk as well. So that would be one to enter clear terrain, plus two for both leaving and entering an enemy zone of control. In this game, even if uh, Hex is friendly controlled, but you're adjacent to an enemy unit, such an enemy unit still exerts um, a zone of control. Leaving a zone of control costs one, and if you simultaneously enter another zone of control, and that can be of the same unit, uh, you pay uh, two, well, penalty costs, so to speak. Uh, so it costs three to move into this hex, another one to go in here, another one to go in here. So had this not happened, this unit would have been able to advance during the Blitz phase into Minsk, which is, uh, yeah, uh, you know, not occupied at the moment. So that would have been possible. Riga was taken, that one was taken, and had I rolled better here, I would have been able to take Lviv as well. Um... So that was just poor luck of the dice. So again, after having played the scenario about five times, um, you know, sometimes what I've learned is that sometimes you really don't want to use all those free advances that you can get during the attrition phase. Sometimes it's better not to use some because you actually want to make sure that uh, by combating a unit that you actually eliminate it and so that it doesn't retreat so that during the blitz phase, for instance, it's really in the way. You have to go around it, you have to pay the extra costs I just talked to you about, so you really want to eliminate them. Uh, but having said that, that usually means that you don't have uh, a very, um, you know, overwhelming force to do that with because you're really spreading your units, you're trying to make sure that you can use certain units again during the blitz phase, so, you know, that really complicates matters. But as I said, this time I guess I came the closest as possible. This one was just a poor die roll because, of, you know, because of which it didn't happen. And in, in, in essence here as well, because had I rolled better, the Germans wouldn't have suffered a hit and this unit would have been able to advance into Minsk as well. But, you know, you really need to have everything going for you. You need to take some risks with certain units um, where you really don't have uh, that much of a superiority going for yourself. Uh, but it's fun, you know, like, uh, again, as I said in my previous video, it's really different if you try to, um, if you, if you play the campaign game, then you're probably better off just encircling a couple of units and it doesn't really matter if you reach. Well, in a way it does because, you know, if you roll a one and you take all those three cities on turn one, you score an immediate win. But, you know, chances of that are pretty small, first of all, of taking them, as you can see, and secondly, then you still have to roll a 1. Uh, so probably a better decision when playing the campaign game would be to encircle a couple of units here and not to engage all of them. Well, anyway, um, I think I've played this one enough. I think I know how, in theory, it should be done, but that it's actually very difficult to pull that off uh, for the reasons I've just explained to you. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try my hand at the Barbarossa scenario, which covers the first couple of months, obviously, of uh, the invasion of the Soviet Union. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So thank you again for watching, and see you on the next one.